Hello and thank you for purchasing our IR receiver. We're going to show you a quick way to hook it up and a quick uh, troubleshooting uh, during this segment. We're going to start off with the DCX3200-M which is by Comcast. I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other side. And what we're concentrating on is the IRM. It's called external IRM. Some say IRM, and then sometimes just just say IR input. I chose this model because it also has a serial. Do not plug into the serial. If your box has serial and nothing else, it's not going to work. That is for technician use only. Now we're back to external. So if you have this at home and it's already plugged in, uh, you'll receive this and you'll see all the, uh, in front here we have install and troubleshooting. Keep the bag just in case, but once I, once I explain it to you guys, it'll be uh, relatively easy. So we have, so we have our, have, have my uh, receiver here. So we're going to go ahead and plug it into the external IR. Just plug it in. Make sure it's all the way seated because it won't work if it's not all the way seated. You could take this and set it anywhere you'd like. You could put it uh, underneath your TV frame, on the side of the frame, on a, a cabinet, wherever you want to go. It has to be line of sight, which I mean by line of sight is your remote has to be able to go to this so it'll communicate with it. If this does not start, if this does not uh, work right away, if once you plug it in, do a little troubleshooting. Leave it plugged in, unplug the power from the cable box for 30 seconds, and then plug it back in. It should reset its reboot. What happens is sometimes uh, the software will notice its new hardware, and it will block it out of the software. Doesn't happen that much often, but uh, it, it does happen, and that's the reason why I sometimes think. Uh, this doesn't work, but it does work, and these are these are all tested, bench tested before they leave the factory, so they do work. I get returns, and I go ahead and test returns, and they do work when they are returned because it doesn't. It's either they're they're plugged into the wrong system, or the procedure of the reset is not completed. So with that said, I'm going to go and show you this other one, this other model, and it's the DTA. And I'm, I'm going to show you this because there's a lot of a lot of people that ask me this question too. This is just a little DTA, and what that means is it's a uh, digital transport adapter. Okay. Go on the back again, and it'll say IRN. You simply plug this in and it'll be good to go. And make sure it says channel 3 or 4. Uh, sometimes they're preset at 3, and that's a channel on your television that your cable TV provider has actually made or you know said that it's going to be able to work on, on this channel. If you have any other issues with this, please call the cable company. And once again, we thank you. And if you have any questions or concerns, please email us through our um, Amazon store. Thank you, and have a great day.